question number 121 the protests called chief producers in the ocean are so these protests which are called chief producers in the ocean they are diatoms and these diatoms are dinoflagellates no they are diatoms they are without cell wall no they have cell wall even they contain silica in their cell wall so this option is also ruled out responsible for red tide in sea no these are the dinoflagellates which are responsible for the red tide so this option is also ruled out they are responsible for the formation of diatomaceous earth yes because as they have silica in their cell wall even after their death the cell wall that remains on the surface and they form the diatomaceous earth so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question Question number one hundred and twenty-two. In eighteen ninety-eight, a scientist called the extract of infected plant as Contagium vivum fluidum, and this scientist was M. W. Bejanek. The plant was infected with a virus called Tobacco mosaic virus or TMV. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-three. Select the incorrect statement. Viruses can be crystallized. It is correct. Viruses take over the machinery of the host cell to replicate. Yes, that's why viruses are called obligate parasites. Viruses are acellular. Yes, it is also correct. They are not cellular. That's why they didn't get any position in the five kingdom classification system. Some viruses contain both RNA and DNA. No viruses can contain either RNA or DNA. Both of them cannot be present together in a single virus. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-four. The body of Euglena is flexible due to presence of Euglena lacks a cell wall, but it has pellicle. So cell wall rich in polypeptides no they lack cell wall cilia they lack cilia they have plasma membrane but it has proteins also no they have protein rich layer called pellicle yes due to presence of pellicle euglena is flexible so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 125 match the following columns and select the correct option Trypanosoma. It's an organism which is flagellated protozoan. So A matches with second. Now you can eliminate option number three and four. B. Paramecium. It has cilia and gullet. Of course, paramecium has cilia. It is ciliated protozoan. So B matches with fourth. Option number one is also ruled out. Now C marine amoeboid, of course matches with third has silica shells and plasmodium. It is malaria causing organism. It is most notorious protozoan. So D matches with first. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. 